We're going to talk a little bit today about how to remove sheet calculus. Now sheet calculus is just like the word sounds. It's a little sheet of calculus that covers um, the surface of the tooth. A lot of times you're going to see a lot of sheet calculus on the lingual aspects of sextant 5 because of Wharton's duct down there continuously um, putting out those minerals. And also you'll see it because of Stenson's duct on the upper um, first and second molar on the buccal aspect. You may see it there. Your air is your best friend in this situation. The first thing you want to do to check for sheet calculus is to dry with air. So let me go ahead and do that on the linguals here of Sexton 5. And remember, as we've talked in class, dry it, dry it. And when you think it's dry, dry it some more. It's much more easily, um, much easier to see and much, much easier to remove if this sheet calculus is dry. So once you've detected it, dry it a little more. Make sure that you're moving your mirror from side to side so you can check the interproximal areas as well. And then you're going to start to remove we're going to use a sickle scaler here, and we're going to start on tooth number 27. Now, just suppose that I have sheet calculus up and down the lingual aspect of this tooth. You have to be patient with yourself because sometimes this will take a little time. It's not really difficult, difficult to remove. It's just time consuming because it does want to stick to that pellicle uh, on the tooth. So we're going to start at the at the um, direct lingual at the midline and I'm sitting at 12 o'clock I'm working on surfaces away and we're going to be just using that sickle scaler up and down the back of the tooth. You can hear it and sometimes you'll even see some of that sheet calculus come off on your mirror. It'll be look like a little powdered substance. When you dry that calculus it's going to look like a white chalky substance. Okay, we'll move on to the next tooth up and down the tooth. Like I say, be very patient with yourself. It is tedious. It takes a while to remove it. The next tooth. You can also use um, your universal curette down here. Let me get that and show you that. This is my Columbia, and that works just as well. A little bit more of the working end can be applied here. Remember that you're just using that toe one-third. Can you see it build up here on my instrument? Okay. Sometimes, like I say, you'll see the powder come off on your mirror as well. So just make sure that you're just using that toe one-third and going up and down the direct lingual. Like I said, check your interproximals, and sometimes it likes to hide right in there. Okay, then we'd move to, of course, um, eight to nine and work on the surfaces towards you. Okay, good job.